don't know what this is. What do you mean? It doesn't look like a beer. It doesn't. It what, actually looks completely it? different. Should we drink this? Is it a massage oil? What is it? I hope it's not a massage oil. <laughs> it looks liquidy. Clear. Oh, I don't know. We're going back to one of our favorite spirits, though. We are. That's true. And that's uh, what we've got for this Give It a Shot. I'm Andrew. And I'm Keith. And we're about beverages.com. And the beverage we are about today, well, it's a tequila, actually. Yeah, so very nice. Uh, When's the last time we visited tequila? <laughs> It has been quite a while. We'd have to go back to the uh, archives at aboutbeverages.com and check that out. And if we can't, then you should as a listener yeah, check that out. Because we did a lot out. of tequila podcasts. Early on, yeah. We did a lot of blends. We did a lot yeah. you know, of uh, different mixed drinks with it. We did you know straight, lots of different things. So, yeah. But uh, uh, yeah, it has been a while. I don't, we don't usually try tequilas uh, you know, by themselves. We don't do give it a shot usually on them. So this no, is probably that's the first true. one. So. So what do we have uh, to try today then? Well, today we have the Tres Generaciones uh, tequila from Sousa, actually. It's 40% alcohol. It's triple distilled. It's their Plata. Plata. Which Plata. Is and uh, so obviously clear, uh, it's, uh, or Blanco. A Blanco, yeah, call that. exactly. A and silver, uh, Blanco, Plata, like all these things kind of yeah. mean so the same thing. 100% agave, obviously not oak aged, we can tell by the color. <laughs> yeah, definitely um, not, or it's the worst oak aging ever. So. <laughs> they really failed at that, no. Price no. where, did you see a price? I mean, I know you were giving this as a gift. You no, know, I didn't. This was actually given to a gift uh, to uh, us by uh, my dad, gave this to us, uh, and I have no idea how much it cost. Okay. I'm, it's, it's a little more of the premium line, so I'm going to guess it's in the 20 to $30 range, probably. Like, I don't think it'd be much more than that, because like, so, yeah. usually the Salzos are 15 to 18 so I'm going to guess maybe 25 something like that, but uh, I, I should have looked that up. That's all right. <laughs> I, you know what I just did? I just put it right here. At the the price is right there. there. And it'll be and on the tasting notes as well. And so. that too. There we go. So there we go. So, all right. Well, very cool. I'm very excited. You know, we've done a lot of beers lately. We and have. We've done a lot of beers lately. And, and we've even done some beers. Yes. So it's kind of nice. Different actually styles finally, of beers, yeah. but, uh, but a lot of beers. So kind of finally switching it up here a little bit. One of my favorite uh, tequilas used to be the... The salsa, the hornitos. The love the hornitos. That's good. Yeah, that one's that one's <laughs> great. Too. Oh, jeez. Uh, yeah, that one's great. And also, we love the uh, the Cazadores, the Añejo Cazadores. Is that, is that for, a salsa as well? No. Oh, okay. I just meant to, we were, thought we were talking tequilas. Oh, I was talking about salsa tequilas. Oh, yeah. But uh, yeah, no, that's very good. That one's that one's tasty. It, it's amazing how even with the margarita, you don't. I mean, like I said, I'm sure this will be great. But like how much how complex you can get with when you throw in an Añejo or something that's been aged. Right. That's a Interesting. Forgotten about for years. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, the extra in Yale. So are we throwing this out then? Yeah. <laughs> like our favorite? I know. Like our favorite uh, scotch drinker. I wonder if he does that for other things too. <laughs> Probably. Like He's like, he buys a carton of milk. Yeah. He pitches it. <laughs> he's very discerning. With his coffee, everything. Yeah. <laughs> you don't want to be near him though when he does with the coffee. <laughs> oh, oh, it's hot. <laughs> it's like fire. <laughs> We're not even going to talk about the color because that's kind of silly. Yeah. Clear as water. It's clear as water. We're not going to yes. say the color of vodka because we don't like vodka. Right. It's the color of water. Yeah. Which we like. <laughs> oh, Ooh, that's nice. That's. Uh, I forget. It's been a while since we've done that's, spirits, and I forget you that you have deep? to. Uh, not a deep, but deep enough. See, this is probably when you want to do the. Yeah. Oh. Hello. There's just definitely just some nice fruit in there. It uh, it's just that nice agave, like you know, because obviously yeah. there's, you know, triple distilled, so it's gonna be pretty smooth. But they haven't done anything else to it, so this is really the purest form of, of the agave. Yeah. So that's really what you're gonna get is just kind of that fruit coming through and. Right. Yeah, I don't know how long this. I mean, obviously, just, these are usually like what, three, are these less than three months. That's correct. That they're before they're bottled or uh, for the for there? the blanco. Yeah, boy, you know that's because uh, then the next one is I thought like three to three the months to a year. The reposado is three, and then over a, one to three years is añejo, and then over three years is, is the extra, extra añejo. añejo. Wow. Yeah, good. Wow, we Ooh. remembered most of that. We had to re refresh our memories there. So yeah, this is bottled really quickly, but and I did open this a few days ago. Like I haven't had like the lid sitting off, but I did want to open it a little bit and let it breathe yeah. somewhat. So that's kind of what we're trying to. Let it do here, but there's just there's just a really nice 
just sweet little fruit going yeah, on in there. That's a, that's about it. And guess what? There's a little bit of alcohol aroma. Oh yeah, oh. I know. Oh, I know. Surprised, right? I've got the burnt nose here to prove it. <laughs> yes. Now that's fire. It's interesting. There's a there's a lot of fire and heat up front. Very very not, forward heat. Very forward, but I'm not getting as much at the back. Actually, no. the back's pretty smooth. The back is yeah. more all about the fruit and about just the general just kind of smoothness of that plant. I mean, there's alcohol going on there, and I'm feeling you know some nice alcohol me. heat going down. There is a little bit of that. There's a, yeah. I, I can't really. It's weird. I don't that know That sweetness why. has a little bit of that, but you can tell. Yeah, all the fire for me is up the front half oh, of my yeah. tongue. It's very tingly, very, very lively. But yeah, like almost a little, there's a little honey, like almost a little agave or some sort of sweetness with that as well. Maybe that's what I was picking up on the caramel was that mix of the agave itself and the and some, well, obviously agave. But there yeah. is actually that, it's like an agave almost it is. nectar. Right. It's got that well, sort that of really youthful, yeah, that youthful sweetness there. Yep. I used to have that, but 10 years ago, I had youthful <laughs> sweetness. I don't Not know if you had youthful sweetness. Sweet. It's gone. No. 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 Oh, man. Well, you had some. But it was gone. You weren't loaded with it. It was even gone there. <laughs> <laughs> you were still youthful. <laughs> Just the sweetness. You were the angry young I, man. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's... Oh. That almost makes me think of, like, uh, Coke. Coca-Cola, for some reason. The sweetness <laughs> in there. I don't know why. It's amazing, even with other sips. Like I said, I think with the the second sip, you get a little bit more of that heat at the back, but the but really that spiciness is all toward the front. Yeah, the liveliness spicy of it and sweet. Yeah, spicy is mm-hmm. all toward the front, which is very interesting. Yeah, and and very nice. Like I said, because usually for me, it's you don't want the harsh finish. No, and especially no. with a blanco, like usually kind of you, you know when it's yeah. You're kind of like, oh no, that's probably what I'm going to get because it hasn't gone through any other aging process. But this, it's really smooth. That would make a that would make a great margarita. Oh, that'll make a fantastic margarita. Especially the, uh, or it could even make a delicious. Uh, what was our other drink with the uh, the Maya Huel? Yeah, with oh. the fresh grapefruit. <laughs> Sorry, freshly squeezed. <laughs> freshly squeezed. That was right? so good. I forgot about that. That was good. That's really good. I really like that. And should we mention? I guess it's not that big of a deal that we've. Signed up for another year of the, of the website, so you yeah, have, the you website have, will you be have to deal with us for at least another year. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, <laughs> we have re-registered our domain and with somebody and with another with another service. We did we did switch. I won't say who we switched from because I'm not about slandering who we switched from, but right. we actually have switched to uh, hover. dot com. So I'm very proud to say that we are with them, and uh, they've uh, so far the couple questions that I've had, they have been uh, the service has been great. So hopefully that continues. So we're very happy with that. So. And uh, the rest of our the place that we do our site with is you know, we've got like more still yeah more still bandwidth right we have more, more bandwidth with them and we actually have more storage space that's through uh, Squarespace. We're very <coughs> happy with them as well and all of these things we actually pay for. We don't get any promotion for these. these no, are just, just these are just people we're happy with. We're happy to yeah. do business with them. So it's okay to pay for so okay to pay for good service and, and good product. So yeah, we're fine I with that. definitely do not have a problem doing that. And uh, hopefully you like uh, heading on over to the website aboutbeverages.com dot com and uh, checking out the tasting notes for this three generation blanco tequila from Sousa. And that's where you can also find where it hits on our recommendation scale. And while you're there, definitely become a fan of us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter and uh, subscribe to our YouTube page as well because uh, that's where you can make sure that you're getting all the latest videos and updates. And uh, if you're not uh, heading to the website, which you should be because there's a lot of extra stuff there too, uh, you'll at least be getting everything you need. Post, and untapped. Post a comment. Even though we're not doing a beer, you can still follow us on Untapped as well. That's true. That's where that's you'll true. see all that stuff. They need to have that. I wonder if they have services like that for other spirits. I don't know if anyone has done that yet, but they should. To check that out. I don't know. Like, I don't know what would bourbon be. Bourbon would be like uh, uncast. <laughs> the, the bourbon trail or, or something like that. Yeah. Un, yeah. We say they have the bourbon trail, but. Oh, yeah. they do. That's true. Yeah. All right. But whether we like it or not, you should have a shot. Oh, nice. <laughs> <laughs> so, as, as always can happen at aboutbeverages.com, uh, you can already see that we have a different drink in front of us because 
when you try tequila, it really just seems wrong not to at least try a margarita with it because that's true. what we were talking about. We were talking about the recipe, half of that last little bit there, so we had to make one. And here they are. So that's what we've done. So I have done the uh, what I was talking about, which is the two parts uh, tequila, one part uh, lime juice, uh, about half about a half part of the agave nectar, and then we sprinkle in some salt. That was kind of uh, our brother Joe. That was his addition at one point. Instead of doing the salt on the rim, actually putting it right in the margarita. And so uh, that's what we've done. That's delicious. <laughs> it is. is. Is it good? Oh, yeah. That lime juice is so intense. It is, but then, and maybe that's why I've had to add up the agave nectar a little bit, because I used to use a little bit less. And I found lately I've been adding just a little bit more, like because I don't want it to be too sweet. To balance out the tart, though. Yeah, just to balance out the tart, and even sometimes usually from the tequila a little bit, but that's delicious, right? That's really good. It's tasty. You get everything. Very refreshing. You get the lime. You get the sweet. I get yeah. the salt. Mm-hmm. Maybe one a little. I could have done maybe a little less. I may have gone a little bit heavy-handed on the salt. I don't actually ever mind that, though, because I, okay. I think salt makes the flavors pop. Well, definitely. Actually, it's funny that you mentioned that. So n- another little side note. So I'm talking with uh, Denny, the owner of Arbuckle Coffee, the other day, and we're and we were talking about salt and different flavors. And he says, he says, <laughs> he looks at me and goes, "You put salt on your watermelon, right?" I'm like, "What?" And I like, get, and he was like, he said, "You don't put salt on your watermelons?" I've like, heard about. I'm that. like, I've never heard of that. And he's like, he's like, oh man, he's like, must be you city folk. <laughs> turned it into a conversation because he, he grew up on a farm and there's a long story about that. But anyway, he said next time I get a watermelon that I should sprinkle salt on there. He said it makes it so much sweeter and just so much all those flavors pop. And he said, you know, obviously you can always use too much salt. But he said just like literally just a little yeah. bit takes any watermelon just makes it super sweet. And I was like, wow. I have heard that and I've, and I've never tried it. I never think I about it either. at all. But like I know like, uh, like I, saw, I saw an Alton Brown show a couple months ago and he had grapefruit. Covered it with salt, and then he did like the torch. Uh, you know, Interesting. Like, like you do for creme brulee. Yeah, and he, but he did that with salt. Uh huh. Huh. Oh no, maybe it was sugar. I'm sorry, it was sugar. <laughs> Never mind. Scratch that. It was sugar. <laughs> We're six or seven beverages in. That's what you get. Well, no, you're right because because the grapefruit has that puckery. Yeah, so usually you see him putting brown sugar yeah. on there. I've sorry. never seen him torch it. Like that would be funny. Didn't know. Dad used to put like brown something. sugar? Did you remember him on like he'd cut open on a grapefruit, like a grapefruit and stuff? Don't you put like brown sugar and let that kind of like melt a little bit? And I don't know. That's possible. It sounds good. Yeah. If it doesn't, I'm glad we tried this. Oh yeah, this is good. definitely that was very good. That's quite tasty. So it's a good end to a marathon podcasting session. <laughs> yes. Yeah, definitely. A very long podcasting session. But it was good. And very we've got, uh, if we want to, do we want to talk about what our episode 26 is going to be at some point, probably in the next well, month, or s- month or so, we want to get to uh, a tea you've actually been kind of interested in. Or uh, yeah. actually, is it is it kind of loosely a it, tea? Yeah, because it's not uh-huh. really a tea. Loose, is it a loosely, loosely a tea? tea? Yeah. It's, uh, it's called uh, kombucha. I believe that's the correct uh, pronunciation. And uh, it's actually, um, from the little bit of reading I've done, it a, a, comes from a living, like, um, organism that is created, and then all the, all the, it's like, and it's called the mother, and then all of these others come, f- all these drinks come from the mother. Oh, interesting. The mother organism, yeah. So there are cu- uh, live cultures in it, and it has a little bit of a, a you know, a tangy, zingy flavor to it, and a little so bit of carbonation. So is this feeding back into your sour desires? It, no, you're, I ta- don't. you're talking micro creation. You're talking tangy sour. Yeah, you're it talking could, it, it, it could have a little bit of that, but that's not what intrigued okay. me about it originally. I've only, ha- I've tried two before, and we'll try w- at least one of those. But yeah, we thought we'd we'll do a little more research and get some varieties, and because uh, the one I had recently had chia seeds in it, and oh. that's and that's wild. If you've ever had, if you've never had chia seeds in something, which I hadn't, that's before the pottery this. that grows, right? <laughs> that's what it originally started. Yeah, that's the chia. Ch- 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 chia. Yeah. Well, that's that seed. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> okay. But the chia well. seeds, um, you can actually, they're actually a great source of proteins, I guess, um, and 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 a variety of different things. Those of you being used like flax seeds and different, I guess it's sort of the, the runner's um, kind of food. Oh, interesting. Uh, and yeah, supposedly a, a pretty good source of uh, protein and nutrients and things. So, All right. Well, thank you uh, for uh, sticking it out through this little addendum to our podcast because, well, post, we just, we just post wanted chatter. to. Yeah. A little post chatter and a little, uh, little extra beverage because, I don't know, I don't think, uh, for me, a Blanco tequila usually goes in a margarita. I don't. Yeah. I, I, you know, like I said, not like that one I could sip, but I just, I, yeah. I don't usually choose to, like I said, I like the Añejos, like there was, that was yeah. what was always kind of nice about those is you could sip or you could, uh, 
you know, enjoy that in a very delicious margarita. But when I think Blanco tequila, I think what kind of delicious margarita am I going to make? So yeah, and, no, and this did, and this definitely fit the bill. So yeah, if I'm going to sip, uh, well, yeah, I'd, I'd want a more complex tequila for sipping. I think right. or or gin or bourbon or whiskey or, yeah. or scotch. Any of those things or scotch. All scotch. my usual, my usual scotch. All right. Well, uh, thank you for watching and thanks for hanging out. That's right. Whether you like a mixed drink or not, you should go get yourself one. <laughs> Go have a margarita. Go have a margarita. <laughs>